you're spending quite a lot of time researching AI existential risk, but I don't think it's already obvious for everyone in the call why AI would be a danger at all. And uh, I don't think uh, everyone is uh, perhaps 100% convinced that this is actually uh, an issue or an existential danger, at least that is. Could you please recap how exactly AI could become an existential risk according to you? Right, so there is a lot of ways to get to that conclusion. Uh, I have a few papers where I simply collect examples of accidents, AI failures throughout history. And if you look at that progression, it's kind of same exponential chart you see with development. We get more problems, the problems become more severe, and uh, our ability to anticipate and predict them seems to be very limited. So basically the conclusion is something like, if you have a system or service to do X, eventually it fails to X. Frequently it does so very quickly and you go, hmm, okay, my self-driving car just killed a bunch of pedestrians, that's a problem. And then it's a narrow system, the damage is limited, right? So self-driving car, okay, the worst it can do is run through some pedestrians. But if a system becomes general and is now controlling not just a single car, but networks of cars, nuclear response, airline industry, stock market, the damage is proportionate. I think it's uh, also not the best way to assume that I have to prove that this service or product is dangerous. Whoever is developing and releasing it has to prove that it is safe, that is standard liability law for any product. Show me that the system, which is smarter than me, smarter than you, smarter than all of us, will never do something we didn't anticipate, something dangerous, something we don't want it to do.